Hello, good afternoon, this is Diecast Luna. Hope you're all doing well. And as I mentioned in a previous video, I was going to be doing a restoration today. And uh, so that's what I'm doing. So the car we're gonna be doing the restoration on, it's got a little bit of an interesting story, at least for me anyway, it is this uh, Renault 11 um, from Majorette. And the reason I'm doing this car is basically for a number of reasons. Firstly, because they're easy to work on. And I'm still a, a, a sort of novice beginner at all this restoration and stuff. But other than that, um, I did buy a job lot of cars recently. Um, some uh, Matchbox and obviously some Majorettes. To do my what I call my practice runs on. To sort of get some practice. And in amongst them was this. And as soon as I seen it, I was like, I must restore it. Because I had one of these as a kid. In this same colour. These were actually produced, I believe, from about 1984 up to about 1988. But I do remember having one of these in my car collection as a kid. Um, because over here in the UK, I'm just going to angle the camera down a little bit. Over here in the UK, I had more um, Matchbox and Corgi and Majorette cars than I did Hot Wheels. I had a few Hot Wheels, but they weren't as popular over here. At least where I live, they weren't so popular. So anyway, and also when I left school or became old enough to drive and I first passed my test, it wasn't my first car, but a couple of cars into my early part of my car career, so to speak, you know, there was, I actually had one of these in green. So not only did I have this same toy, but I also had one of these in green. Um, you have to excuse the noise. My, my kids are at the back making lots of noise if you hear loads of screaming and shouting. But anyway, so back to this. So... This is what we're doing. I'm gonna. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna obviously take it to pieces, clean up the bottom, clean up the interior. You know, this isn't in too bad a nick really. Um, I'm thinking of doing a wheel swap just because I don't like these wheels and they don't match anything. Anyway, and I don't have a set of wheels like what should be on these, but um, I've got a set of wheels in mind. That I'm thinking of using um, one off a, just a just a standard set of mainline Hot Wheels wheels. Um, and I'm going to try and spray it to the roughly the same colour of the actual car that I used to have is in the real car. So it should be interesting. And I'm going to detail it a little bit. I'm thinking of painting the lights red, you know, make them look, you know, make, you know. And, I'm, and I don't know, I'm going to, I might have to leave this. I might remove it. I don't know yet. Um, but anyway, so that's today's project. So we'll get straight into it. So I will just quickly pause it and I'll be back. And we're back, so the car's drilled out now, and the wheel just snapped clean off um, without any effort. I didn't even, you know, just tug on it, so the wheels are rotted anyway, so I'm going to have to replace them now, but it's not in too bad a condition, but we'll still give it a wash anyway, so I'll put that in the parts pot, along with the glass. The sunroof they can all be cleaned up a little bit they'll be washed again and we'll wash that plastic piece of the well with the trim and so there's not really a lot to really spray really but anyway so that's going to go in the tub ready for stripping but i'm not going to show stripping it because um it's it's obviously highly toxic so it's, or it gives off fumes should i say so i'm probably gonna do the stripping outside and then uh go from there but uh so yeah but anyway so we'll um briefly pause again whilst i uh strip it off and we'll be back so we're back again i thought i'd just uh Give these a quick clean whilst we're waiting for the uh, the stripper to do its stuff. It's coming off slowly. I've got it soaking for a bit, but it is starting to come off. So I'll go outside in a bit and uh, open it up and uh, give it a brush. But uh, like I said before in the last video, this I just all I use in this is just a bit of soapy warm water. Um, and like I said, this car is in pretty good nick for its age. Um, apart from the few paint chips on it, really, um, compared to the, the last car that I did that 
was quite corroded um, on the bodywork and on the actual um, underneath. So this should be, if the paint comes off nicely, a fairly re relatively very easy and very quick restoration, really. Um, and the windscreen's quite nice. Like I said, these are quite basic, easy cars to work on if you're going to get into this. Like I said, I'm no expert, you know. I just, uh, but I want to get better. So I did buy a job lot of cars to um, work on like this. And I wasn't going to do videos to start with because I didn't have the confidence. But um, I just thought, no, let's just go for it, you know. And... Um, but like I said, um, this is an un a bit of an unusual car. But uh, anyway, Liam so they're, they're pretty much clean. Um, the wheels that I'm thinking of using um, are these ones with a yellow band. Um, just off a of plain Hot Wheels mainline. But they're a steel effect wheel. But I've got them in black as well without the yellow circle, so I'll pick which one looks the best. There's no point putting a nice set of real riders on this car because... Um, well, apart from the fact that the other set of wheels I have got spare, I want for another project, the other set of real rider wheels, and they're in gold, so they won't match, really. Um, and plus, I want to go for a, a sort of standard look, because like I said, I'm trying to do justice to the toy for the toy sake, but I'm also trying to make it look as close as I can to my old one, and my old one didn't have any wheel trims anymore. It just had black, just black plain steel wheels. So, um, but anyway... We're gonna. I'm gonna go outside now and uh, get this bodywork cleaned up, and I'll be back.